Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from winflectorexpert.com and I'm going to show you how to configure the Active Directory or Windows authentication. This way, you can either use the local Windows users or an Active Directory domain controller. It is easy and quick to configure and allows your users to use their usual passwords for Winflector. It enables you to use the typical password policy tools as well as fine-grained access control, as in this mode, the application a user uses through Winflector will run under his account. The other option is to use the Winflector authentication, which I show in another video. Let's open up the Winflector server, go to Preferences, go to User Accounts. In order to use the local Windows or Active Directory authentication, Local Windows slash Active Directory has to be selected in this box. The domain name absolutely has to be filled in. It can contain either the local computer name or the name of your domain. It will determine whether it will use the local password database or the one on the domain controller. I'll type in wfexpert, which is the local computer name. You could leave it at that and every user who can log on to the machine will be able to use WinFactor. Most often though, you will want some control over it. This option, authorize only members of the groups below, allows you to pick the groups, the members of which will be authorized to use WinFactor. Let's click it. I'll type in WF users, which is a group I've made containing three users, Tim, Tam and Tom. Again, you could leave it at that, and unless you have some very specific needs, that would be enough. Now, if you want even more control, check the Assign Applications to Windows slash AD users. Now you have to press the Update Users button. You should save it. And it will take some time, it's pulling over users now. Alright, we'll select a user, say Tim, and deny him the access to paint. So just select the calculator. Let's save it. OK, save it. Disconnect the configurator. And that's it. It's configured. Uh, there is one thing you have to remember, though, about connecting if you use this kind of authentication. Let's start the server. and the client. We're connecting to the local host. We'll be logging in as Tim. You have to enter the domain name here. So it's WF expert. Go to applications. And we can see that Tim only can access the calculator. So let's access it. Run the application. Now the calculator is running with writes of Tim. So that's it. We've configured the local Windows or Active Directory authentication. If you like this video, check out winflectorexpert.com. Thanks and see you soon.